What's up everyone? What's up? Guitars N70 here and today I got a fun one for you from Dokken, of course. Um, it's a song called Stop Fighting Love. It's off the Back for the Attack album. And uh, this isn't one that's out there. Uh, it's not super mainstream or whatever, but uh, Dokken fans will know the song. It's a great song. Pretty easy to play. And so I'm just going to show you the parts real quick. Not going to spend too long on each individual one, but um, this should get you started because, like I said, there's there's some inflections and stuff that George is doing that, you know, um, you can take some liberties with. Okay, so let's uh, let's nail this intro. You're just going to be holding a D. Okay, so you're just going to start out hitting this low the the A string here and holding the. Uh, you know, the six, starting on the sixth fret of the B, doing a little arpeggio thing. Okay, it should make sense to you, right, right, just like that. You're just adding your finger back on there, lifting it up, adding it on, your arpeggio is going straight down from the B string. So it's then you're going to hit the top two strings or the top one string, the either the E string or the B string, or you can hit them both, and then repeat. And then you time you gotta get the timing right, but you're going to switch over to distortion to a C, and you're going to play this. So it's open, three, slide to five. And then you're going to hit it again. And then form the D chord again, and you're just going to play the D, G, and B strings, and then lift your fingers off and keep this bar. You're just playing the fifth fret. You can play all three if you want. Uh, D, G, and B, or just the power chord here at the D and D and G. So it's, add some palm mute. And then you're gonna, you, the next move is gonna be um, three, five, three. Chuck again. And then you're gonna be holding this in. So you got the sixth fret on the B and lifting up and uh, holding down the fifth fret on the B and G strings, right? So you're making a G, it's a G chord, but you're adding this little, so the whole thing goes like this. And then we're gonna finish here. It's so it's again, it's open three, five, and then the ending is gonna go three, five on the D, down to two on the D. So. And just repeat it, okay? Um, and adding pinch harmonics on there, and remember to, to chug in between. So you're gonna, when you finish this, I'm chugging back on this root note. Chugging on that C. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? Um, so. Oops. Then I'm going to play open A with a B flat power chord, kind of an open A to a C into a D. That's when the vocals start, and then you're just going to kind of come down here to a C9, so a third on the A, and keep your third finger anchored here on the uh, on the B string. So it's In there, you know, I don't know exactly what he's doing. He's arpeggiating something. You can do whatever you want there, take some liberties. He's really just playing a D. 
back to D. And then this is cool. He drops down to an F power chord. It's an open G. And then the D string. Lifts his finger up off the D and he plays the C, the third fret on the A string. And then strikes these two again, G and D. And then finishes here with the second finger on the G string. Makes a D, it's a D chord. So it's. And then back to C. Okay, so he comes in. He says. Turns his volume back up. You go back into that. You know? Okay, um, so that gets you up to when the solo starts, he's just going to go back into this interlude. He's playing the exact same thing he plays at the beginning, I think. You know. Okay, plays that through and we get to the guitar solo, he comes in, and um, behind the solo is, he's playing this, I think, and while the guitar solo is going on. So it's, um, I'll play through it, and then I'll break it down for you. Sorry, I kind of had a little brain fade there in the middle, but um, nothing to restart and take a whole new video for, right? Okay, so here we go. We're starting out on the B string. We're going five, six on the B, and then seven on the G, back to five on the B, and then you're gonna play five, seven on the G. With generous pinch harmonics. Then you're gonna play this. Five seven on the D. Then a power chord on five seven. Uh, a power chord across the fifth fret on the D and G. And then you're gonna play. It's the the third, the third fret on the D, and then five on the G, two on the D. And then um, three on the A, slide to five on the A. So the whole thing should sound like this. And you're really basically gonna play this tw two times. So it's, it's, um, oh, and you're gonna play this. That's just the fifth fret on the D, and then you're you're laying and doing a power chord here between uh, the fifth and the seventh. You're sliding up and back. You can add bar. You can right. So let's do it again. Then repeat it. Here's where I had the brain fade. You're gonna go, um, so it's the 10th fret and the 13th fret. You're gonna hit 10 and then 13 on the B and bend up. Just a full step, okay? Then you're gonna start this series of bends. It's a one and a half steps here at the 10th fret on the B. And then, it's like a full step bend here at the 13th fret. So it's full step bend on the 12th fret of the G, 
and then you're gonna do this. 12, 14, 12, 10. All with pinch harmonics on the G string. Okay, and then you're gonna do another bend, uh, one and a half step bend on the 10th on the B. Regular full step bend on the 13th fret of the B. One and a half step bend on the 15th fret of the B. Then you're gonna go 22nd fret on that high E string. Full, full step bend, pull off to 20. D. And it basically just repeats through that. Um, with, it's a little bit more rough, like heavy. And then there's one other thing. He does this long ride out at the end or whatever. I haven't figured that out. But he does one, one cool lick that will give you an idea of kind of where he's at in this ride out. He's soloing in the um, D pentatonic. <laughs> But he's he's in the it's at the D minor D natural minor, so it's here's one part when he goes um and what he's doing there you can tell that's the extended box of the pentatonic he just kind of moves up. That, that like BB King box up there. That's where he starts at. And he does this kind of a. So it's a. Something like that. Um, those frets there were. Um, 15, I'm sliding into 15 on the B, and then going um, to 13, 15 on the E. Full step bend, release, pinch harmonic, and then sliding up to 17 and quickly coming back down to a half quarter step bend. So it's on 13, and then this, it's like, you can pick it, but I think he's legato. So the whole thing is like... So anyway, and it gets down here, it's like 15, 13, 12 on the B, and then um, 12, 10, 9 on the G. whatever you want to do down there. Anyway, that is Stop Fighting Love. Hope you like it.